another fun day here at the hangar. I'm freezing, but uh, we got to press forward and I want to get this done. Today, we are working on this guy, which is supporting feature for the fuel injection system. And it's a boost pump from EFII. All right, and here this guy is. And uh, it's not as beautiful or a piece of art like I would say that the Behringer brakes were, but I mean, this is still pretty cool. And I like how it is a small package and uh, parts are easily replaceable on it. And all this consists of is an inlet, a fuel pump, a check valve, and this comes with some supporting parts, such as a pre-filter, which I've decided not to use in this situation. I'll show you why in a little bit. And uh, paperwork for everything that we're gonna need, including installation instructions and uh, everything that's gonna happen here. And then it ha comes with this mounting plate, which I'm actually not gonna be using inside of my installation. But uh, let me show you where this guy's gonna go. This guy is gonna go right right there ish so that is my current plan and uh gotta do a lot of stuff to this to be able to make it do what i want it to do but uh yeah it's gonna go inside the airplane in between my legs and we're gonna have fuel oh, let that slide we're gonna be having fuel coming from up over here down that way through here and coming up i'm not gonna have that done from each wing tank then we're also gonna have fuel coming down right through here and back around and coming forward so we're gonna need to have some tees to be able to join those that go up into a fuel selector valve that then goes through this whole system and then forward to go to the engine. Now here's that fuel selector that we were just talking about. Uh, I bought this off aircraft spruce and it's got a left, a right, and a bolt. So this should work perfectly the way that I want it to in the system. And then over here, we just have a box of fittings and other things that I'm gonna need to make this all work. So. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quickly put all this together and show you guys the, the mayhem that I've decided to roll with. And there we have it. <laughs> this is the mayhem that has been going on in my head. And that only took me a few minutes to put together because I've already thought through this and got it all prepared. So I had already talked about this pre-filter right here. And the reason I'm not using it is because I wanted something a little bit lower profile. Now, I believe that this is a 90 micron uh, filter right here. This one is an 85. This one's also gonna give me serviceability where this one I would just replace. This one I can pull out and clean out and then put back inside of the system. So a lot smaller package, same amount of performance, and it's high flow. And this is from a Holly Performance brand, which Holly is known inside of the racing world for, for a lot of really great stuff. So we're gonna use that inside of this application. But you can see here, how this uh, is going to be working. We have the fuel lines that will come forward to here. We'll have the fuel lines after, from after will come here. They will feed into the right and left selector. It will go forward through this, and then it's gonna go back through the check valve the way it's supposed to. Uh, and then it's gonna turn around and then come forward to the firewall up here. So uh, I'm gonna be able to lay this down. I am gonna be wrapping this inside of some protective uh, layers and stuff so that it doesn't have any problems with rubbing or chafing. Um, <clears throat> but that is my overall plan and design for this. And it gets a little bit more complicated because I can't just leave this hanging inside of there like this. I've, I've got to mount this to something. And this is what I was talking about right here. Obviously, this is just a mock-up. It's not perfectly fitting. But the idea is it's an exoskeleton. I can still be able to get inside of here to be able to make changes to this that I need to. And it'll mount to these screw holes that are just right inside of here. I'll be able to use the fuel selector perfectly. And then the fuel lines themselves will run similar to what this is going to be doing right here. So it'll attach here it'll come forward and it'll bunch up here and this is actually going to come down and so we'll have a bunch of three fuel lines going forward to connect to where they need to connect to and uh, trying to make this all as low profile as possible width wise because this is going in between my legs and I don't want my feet to be able to be hitting it and having things getting in the way so now I just need to make that exoskeleton thing that I was talking about and I got this piece of aluminum to do it with and this stuff is pretty thick and the reason that I went with that is because when I'm using that fuel selector I actually have to lift up on it and turn it and I want this to be as reinforced as possible but 
I'm also going to be doing a bonus thing to the back side of that, which uh, you'll see later, and that's going to be installing this parking brake on it. So uh, that's going to be cool too. But uh, man, I think there's enough thinking, enough talking. Let's get this made. Well, instead of bending it, that just sheared it. And I've used this metal before and it has bent properly. So I don't know what's going on here, but now I've got to remake this. I'm not going to put you guys through it all. I'm just going to show you the results when I finally have it right. So yeah, fast forward to that. A few moments later. Well, have it again. I, I realized part of my problem, I purposely wanted to keep a little bit of that. So when I, you know, rigidity, when I bent it and everything, but this just keeps falling apart. I must have ordered a different grade of aluminum or something, uh, but uh, I've got this sheet here. It's a little bit thinner, but I think with uh, the bends and everything that I wanted to put in it like this, everything's going to work. So this, yeah, that's out of here. One hour later. They say third time's the charm, and in this case, it definitely is because this is going to work perfectly. Just slide this guy right over there. So really all I have left now is to be able to put the holes inside of this and then use the hardware that I purchased to be able to mount it all to that and make it all look like it did, but back inside of this. So I'm gonna start drilling some holes. I've actually already uh, marked this all out for the holes and uh, yeah. Let's get to it so we can mount it in the plane. My goodness, this is becoming a long day. What an adventure to get to this point. But uh, yeah, this for the most part is done here. Uh, in my haste to put this together, I actually put this in backwards, so I need to flip it around this direction. But the visual is what it is going to be. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with how it all turned out. I'll be able to use my fuel selector, turn it, make it work. And then like I was talking about, put this brake on here. Up will be, uh, you know, brakes applied, or parking brake applied, and down will be flying without any problem. So yeah, this, turned out but let's let's go see how it's gonna fit up in here so what I really need to do is just make sure that it clears back here when that's all the way out or when you know I'm pulling all the way back on the stick kind of give you an idea of what it's gonna be like so it's gonna sit right about there which is perfect because if we were to come up here and to take a look at where my feet are gonna be, I won't have any clearance problems. And all the hoses are gonna be up there, gonna be tied together, well, hoses, hard lines, and they're also gonna be coated. So this, I think, is going to work perfectly. So what I gotta do now is mount it in there. But I think before I do that, I wanna cover it inside of like black vinyl or something first to give it a little more aesthetically pleasing look. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go home and do that and we'll be back to mount this tomorrow, so. All right, I really am excited with how this turned out. It is beautiful. Ah, oh, jeez. I ended up having to paint this. There's several options I was gonna go with. I thought I could vinyl wrap it, maybe do some powder coating, but in the end, I just used a little bit of primer and some flat black enamel paint, and it looks great. Should be decently durable for what we're using it for. But we need to install this inside of the airplane now. 
Um, I got the hardware and it's going to go through here and through the floor and uh, we'll bolt that up through the carbon fiber flooring uh, to make sure that we don't have any corrosion problems. I went ahead and put rubber feet on the bottom of this so we'll have to poke some holes through that to make that work and then that's going to go to this fitting which is a firewall fitting. So if you can imagine that's going to be in the firewall and let's go look at the airplane. All right, so that's gonna go right there, probably down towards the bottom of that V, and uh, yeah, it should be perfect. So we just have to run the fuel line directly to that and make sure that our distance to the pump makes sure that we clear this. There it is. It is installed. It is not going anywhere. I am happy and uh, yeah, ah, that is gonna be perfect. So uh, I have a choice now. I can either end this video or keep going. All right guys, unfortunately I think I'm gonna have to stop it right there for today because the rest of the stuff that I've gotta do in here is gonna get pretty technical with bending, measuring, cutting, cussing, throwing my tools, throwing things away, starting over again, and lighting the airplane on fire because I'm so angry. I'm not gonna light it on fire. I put too much into this. Anyways, I want to give a huge thanks to EFII for helping us out with the fuel pump inside of this airplane so that we can go to fuel injection. I'm incredibly excited about that. But they don't just do boost pumps. They also do ignition systems and many other things. But definitely check out their website for all of your fuel needs. Well, guess what? It's been a bit since I recorded that and have been editing the video. So I wanted to show you guys the quick progress on this. First up, this guy, this is a 3D part that I printed and this was just, you know, one piece. There's the real one back there holding the fuel lines that I have been running. And yes, it has been a nightmare and I still have more work to do, but it's definitely, definitely coming along and back to the other me. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for coming along and make sure to share this with your friends because <laughs> we're getting ready to do startup and I want as many people to see that as possible. Anyways, share aviation wherever you can and we'll see you in the next one.